Hey, they did it. So on this clip, we're going to go over some examples on how to see the domain and range of graph formulation, and also how to use the vertical line step to determine if uh, the graph of formulation is a function or not. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at examples above here. First of all, we're going to see the domain and range of this function using this uh, interval and set builder notation. So let's do the set builder notation. Domain. Remember, the domain is basically the horizontal spread of the graph. How wide is your graph? So if you look at this graph, you notice that it's on the x-axis, the projection of the x-axis, negative two is included. Um, use, a, use a different color. Um, negative two is included, and it goes all the way straight down to uh, infinity. Okay. So for this um, graph, the domain, uh, we're going to do the builder first. The domain is basically from uh, negative 2 all the way to infinity. Using interval notation, uh, and basically x is greater than or equal to negative 2. This is your domain. All right. Now for the range, the range is the, is the vertical span of your graph. Okay, the projection of the graph on your x axis. If you take a look at this graph, you notice that the highest point is this the zero y value included, and it goes all the way down forever, all the way to negative infinity. Okay, and if you go down forever, you're heading down to negative infinity, as this arrow here indicates. Okay, so remember, domain is the width, and your range is the height. Okay, so for this function, your range is going to start from the highest point which is zero, all the way down to negative infinity, uh, parentheses like that, okay? Or, using a set, uh, inequality notation, y is less than or equal to zero, all right? So there, there you have it. Now, this, is this graph, is this relates the graph of a relation, is this that of a function or not? So all you just have to do to determine if this is a function or not is to use the uh, a vertical line here, right? So we just draw a vertical line, and what we'll do is we'll move the vertical line across the entire graph and ask ourselves, is there any point within the domain of this graph that the line intersects more than once? You can see that that is not the case. You can see for the orientation, it constantly intersects exactly once at every point in the domain of this graph. I mean, if we don't follow the pattern, assume there's no reversal, um, this graph is actually a function, okay? So it passes the vertical line set, so um, it is a graph, a graph of a function, okay? Because it intersects exactly only once, the vertical line intersects exactly only once in the entire of the domain um, of this graph, all right? Okay, now let's move on to the next example. Let's take a look at this uh, graph right here, graph of a relation. We're going to see the domain and range first, and then we'll move on to the uh, determine if this is a graph of a, of a function or not. Okay, so the domain, remember it's the width. What is the horizontal span of this graph? We know that we project the graph onto the x axis. We know that it starts all the way from negative 3 and goes all the way to positive 3. Okay? So let's write down the domain using a straight builder notation. The domain is from negative 3 all the way to 3. Notice that the endpoint is included, you use a, uh, a bracket. If the endpoint is not included, you use a parenthesis. Okay? So this is straight builder notation using an inequality notation. The domain is negative 3 less than or equal to x, x is less than or equal to positive 3. Okay? And then the range. The range is the uh, vertical span of the graph up and down. So how high how high does the graph go? Goes as high as three, three included, and how low does it go? The height of the graph point it goes down all the way down to negative three. And that's also included. Okay? So if you look at this line, this is the, the height of the graph, which is the range. Okay? So the range is uh, from negative three all the way to three or if you bracket, negative 3 is less than or equal to y, y is less than or equal to 3, there you have it. All right, so this is a function or not. 
I'm going to use the vertical line test. If there's any point in the domain of this graph where a vertical line intersects more than one, it is not a function. So let's see. Now, what do we have here? We have something failure. Okay, because we have a vertical line intersecting one point and another point right here. We have an input generating two distinct outputs. That is not the definition of a function. So because this graph fails the vertical line test, uh, uh, we're going to say this is not a graph, a graph of a function, okay? Because it fills the vertical line test. That's the function. All right, we have one unique x, we need two outputs. That means this is not a function. All right, so there you have it. Now let's take a look at another example. Uh, this looks like a slice of the other one, but it's being compressed. Um, by factor third. Uh, so let's take a look at the domain and the range and then we determine if this relation, this graph of a, this, uh, graph of a relation is a function or not. Okay, so to determine the domain, we're looking at the projection of the x-axis or how wide the graph is. If you went to the left, it goes as far as it is two and then it's included all the way and ends at two, then goes your domain. If you remember domain is the uh, for example, the surface of the graph. So the domain is negative 2 all the way to 2, or you can say the other part of the inequality notation, negative 2 minus 120 x, x is less than 22. Okay? Now for the range, the range is basically the uh, our vertical sum of the graph. So you go from negative 2 all the way up to 0. And that's going to be your range, okay? The vertical sum of your graph. So the range is going to be from negative 2 all the way to 0. Or, in the bracket, using the integral notation, negative 2 is less than or equal to y, and y is less than or equal to 0. Okay, is this a function or not? We're going to use a vertical line test. If we a uh, well, vertical line has the entire domain of this graph. Is there a point where the line intersects more than one? You can see that one, 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 one is one. So the entire domain, you don't have a vertical line intersecting more than one. So it passes the vertical line test. So this is a function. Okay, this is a graph. A graph of a function. Okay. It passes the vertical line there. All right. Let's take a look at another example. I'm going to take a look at this graph. Um, let's start by indicating the domain and the range. Domain, remember again, is the uh, horizontal center of the graph. So we project the graph on the x-axis. How wide does the graph go? Going to the left, it goes as far as negative 2. And then it continues all the way to 2. But two is not included, so I use a parenthesis right there. Okay, so there is that's the uh, horizontal span of the graph. So the domain is going to be, as you bracket, negative 2 all the way to 2, or in your bracket, negative 2 is less than or equal to x, and x is less than 2, like that. Okay, okay um, now uh, let's have the range instead. No, build a notation and inequality notation, uh, interval notation. So the range is the vertical sign of the graph. So what's the vertical sign of this graph? It goes as high as 4, or included, and goes all the way, all the way down to how low the graph go, all the way down to negative 4, right there. Okay? So your range. Uh, using the field of notation is going to be from negative 4 in lower value or middle 4. Okay, or using an inequality in interval inequality notation, it's going to go from you know, negative 4 and less than or equal to y and y is less than or equal to 4. Alright? So now the question is, is this a graph of a function or not? We're going to use a vertical line test to see if there is point in the interval of this graph. And the domain of this graph where a vertical line intersects more than one. So let's do that. So if I move the vertical line past this graph, you notice that there isn't any point in the entire domain of this graph where this vertical line intersects more than one. Okay? So what does that mean? It means that it basically passes the vertical line test, and this graph is a graph of a 
function. The duration is exactly this function. Okay? So this graph is a graph of a function because it has to be written to like this. It's a graph of a function. Okay? All right, let's take a look at another example. Uh, I'll take a look at this graph. Um, let's go ahead and find the domain of the range first. Uh, let's start with the domain. Remember, the domain is the uh, horizontal span or the projection of the graph on the x axis. So, how far to the right does it go? It goes as big as three, so three included. And how far to the left does it go? If you notice, it, it goes to the left forever. Okay? So basically from 3 all the way to negative infinity. That's the domain of this graph. So the domain is basically going to be from um, is going to be from negative infinity all the way to 3. They're included or using in its interval notation or inequality notation we have uh, x is less than or equal to Three. Okay. All right. How about the range? What is the vertical span of this graph or the projection of this graph on, on the y-axis? Well, we need to look at how high and how low the graph goes. Since that's a function. It goes as low as two, negative two, but negative two is not included. So I'm going to use a parenthesis here. So it goes as low as negative two, and and then it goes as high. It just keeps on going up forever, right? It goes up forever all the way to infinity okay so your range is um is basically negative two is not included so you have to be careful negative two all the way to infinity or we'll have an inequality um y is what y is greater than or equal to no no y is strictly greater than negative two Okay, because we have an open circle here, we cannot put a line of inclusion. Okay, having been into a closed circle, then we'll put the line of inclusion right, right there. All right? So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Um, you can share this video with your friends via Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus. Questions and videos can be found on myquestels.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.